hello friends in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to use synopsis design vision to synthesize your very low codes into the netlist so basically you will be having your very low code with you and you will be using standard cells from osu tsmc 180 nanometer and you will be finally eventually translating your behavioral code in very low to a netlist so to start with I've kept all my Verilog code into a folder named source. If you want to look into it, these are all the Verilog files. I'll be trying to synthesize one simple mux. So let me show to you my Verilog file. So you can see that I have defined a mux in a behavioral fashion using a case statement. I put in a case statement on my select line. And depending upon its level either my input 1 or input 2 will be routed to the output so to synthesize this I'll be making use of a script we can also do this with the help of a GUI support but there are a lot many parameters to be updated for a GUI scripting is a like very easier way it will automatically you just quote all the very vari environmental variable at once and it will be automatically taken care by the script you just need to issue the script and it will automatically be synthesized or compiled so i'll make you have a look at my script as well my script is synthesize.tcl it's available in the main folder let me change the directory pi synthesize.tcl this is my script which i need to run there are certain fields into this script where you need to update accordingly the first one is the location of your Verilog file since I am having my all Verilog codes in a folder named source and the Verilog file I am compiling is mux2 underscore 1 hence I have updated it accordingly with the top level module maybe your Verilog file consists of very small instantiation of other modules as well so this is the top module for example if I want to design an ALU having a function of multiplication division addition subtraction maybe I am having all these modules separately and I'll be calling them all together in my one big module or top module ALU so here is that uh, uh, name of that top module because my multiplexer is just a single file so both are the same my top level is also 2 underscore 1 then your clock pin if your design include any clock term input into it so you may quote your clock port name otherwise you can select any of the input pins if you have uh, if your design isn't having any clock this is a clock frequency you can give or this is with which clock frequency your compiler is going to synthesize your design input delay output delay you can keep them as such no need to update them here the other two parameters are link library and target library you you will have to provide this compiler a set of standard cells so as it to translate your code into verilog to a netlist file so for that it is making use of standard cells and i have given that location of standard cells over there in, at both the link and the target library so that's all thereafter you need not to update anything over there to get out of this script is command is colon wq it will take you out of that and now the command that you need to run so as to execute that script is dc underscore shell hyphen t space hyphen f synthesize dot tcl this script will automatically invoke the design vision will translate your synthesis will fetch the reports and close now it has been completed because my design is not very complicated it's just a simple marks if you look into this you will get to know about the area parameter like my area is 464 it's in micrometer scale and it will generate certain other reports as well to you for your detailed analysis the one is cell report which will give you your area being consumed by that design using standard cells all these re uh, reports are with reference to those standard cells only so it will be taking uh, it will be picking up the small primitives out of those standard cells 
available to us and we'll be generating all those figures based on those standard cells so we are having cell report with us power report is there and uh, timing report so it will give us a complete analysis of our design let's look into each of them one by one power report so my design is having a cell internal power of 74 microwatt switching power 70 microwatt total dynamic power is 145 microwatt and the leakage power is 801 picowatts so my power report is complete in all aspects i'll get to know about my leakage power as well as dynamic power there comes a cell report which will give me the idea about my area being consumed so here you can look into like because at very i have shown you my verilog code as well in which i haven't defined any gate into it it's just a very behavioral fashion in which i have coded that multiplexer but here if you look my compiler has simulated that design using inverters and or invert and in total it, is, it has used 17 cells whose area is approximately 464 micrometer square so you get to know about the area report as well the other one is timing report now if you look at a timing report since we have given a clock frequency of 100 megahertz that correspond to a time pulse of 10 nanoseconds so my clock having a falling edge of 5 nanoseconds and at a falling edge it will take 0.3 nanosecond 0.31 nanosecond for my input to reach the output so my delay for this circuit is 0.31 nanoseconds i'll get to know about my propagation delay power area everything is complete now it is also generates few other files for you that you can eventually import into cadence for the layout generation and extract the spice parameters those files are if you look into this this is the netlist file one netlist file is being generated that is that is hmm, here it is mux 2.1.mapped.v if you look into this file sorry <coughs> it will contain a netlist file like my uh, analysis of that design using primitive gates which are available in my standard cell library one file is .sdc this is that file which I will be importing into my cadence encounter for the layout generation as well because can encounter uh, cadence as of now is not available to us so as of now we have reached till that step only as cadence got up and we get to know about the layout generation steps as well I will be preparing another video tutorial showing all those things to you thank you thank you for watching the video